Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Morning to you too. I really should have remembered your name. This is awkward. Every time. Every time I see this. But anyways. Salutations, ladies and germs. My name is Mr. Fox, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I'm in a great mood. Recording this right after doing the Immun Storm video. I love that gun. I love her. I mean... I like how even the main menu, they're just showing off what they're capable of doing with their engine. Just the little expressions, it's like the characters have a mind of their own, they're thinking. I mean, you know they're not, but it just gives that impression, which really lends itself to this game, gives it more depth, and anyways, you want me to shut up and let's go! x button, Work! We're pouring back to our lady. Okay. Is she gonna be pissed at us for kinda almost letting Hank die? He had an 89% chance of surviving, okay? Don't give me that look. With the fact that that was a bit of a dick move. Yeah. Realize that, Jimmy. Realize that it was a dick move. No! Oh, never mind. We're good. I think it's just my online. Who needs that, right? At least the game did not crash. Praise be to Iron Jesus. Even though Iron Jesus has been an asshole to me. Are you, are you an android? You don't seem to mind. Hello, the rain. Amanda. Hi. I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA-9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let it self-destruct. I didn't let it self-destruct. I made a mistake. It said RA-9 saved me before it jumped from the roof. I should have anticipated what it would do. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? <laughs> it's improving. <laughs> I'm coming to face. know him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. I mean, he's still kind of neutral. We can improve it. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Are we dealing with Connor's case? Not Connor. Marcus's case, or are you referring to Kara? Because I'll have you know, I did not murder Mr. Frankenstein. His monsters did that. Did I enable them to do that? Yes. Do I regret it? Not one bit. That asshole was gonna erase my mind and take my little girl away. Thank you for traveling with Detroit Taxi. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Hey Hank. I'm sorry I almost let you die. My apologies, dude. Hey. If I ever play this again, I'll probably go out of my way to save him. So he's gonna be investigating. I feel like it would be a little creepy to look in his With the fact that this is creepy. 
Hey, Poochie. Lieutenant Anderson. Anybody home? <laughs> oh yeah, let's just break in. Come on, Anderson. Hi, I will break into your house. I will become a deviant and I'll join Marcus and Kara. And we'll all be a happy band of three amigos and rule the world together. I highly doubt that's gonna happen, but a boy can dream. Lieutenant Anderson! Dude, I feel like... Okay. Easy... Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Okay, dude. Are you playing Russian roulette? Dude. Like, I know I almost let you die, but... Okay, that's probably a good reason. But still! Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me, Connor. <laughs> Dude. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, sake. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. That's one way to make Thank friends. you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Sumo! Attack! Good job. Attack! <laughs> I know this is really depressing, but... Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. You've already been sick, dude. We're besties now, okay? Toad's best. Oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. This is for your own good, old dude. What the I'm hell are good. you doing? <laughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. This is not how I thought we'd be started. Oh, oh, turn it off! Turn it off! Ah! <sighs> what the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. I mean, teasing him just would be... This homicide. Any 
Pete's. What do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. Ooh. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Yep, because that's how sobering up works. When you're passed out, vomit on yourself, you just throw some in a bathtub and spray them with cold water and they'll be all like, I'm free of my intoxication. That's not how it works. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Um. I feel like... You know what, let's... It looks the best out of the options there. Hippiness, homicide investigation, probably isn't the best option. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, I don't yeah. think he's all right. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Voice acting, it's too real right now. ...issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts are suggesting the specter of a... He also is very bad at cleaning. Like, so bad. And apparently he really misses the sun. Okay, I get it now. I get it. Poor dude, man. I almost let him fall off a building. Now I feel bad. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Oh yeah, we're stealing stuff. These lords of sneakiness, I channel my inner Khajiit, who likes to sneak. Allow me to escape the medicine we need and not get shot the hell up. Because that would be bad, like really bad. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. safe about this. Whose idea with it? The fact that it's your guy's idea. I didn't actually suggest it. He kind of did. I had no control over that. He's his own person. Okay, I'm not going to try to control him. What do I look like? His mother? Don't let them see us. Do you think I'm trying to Okay. 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 Okay.
Watch out. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Seamlessly, this game can transition between cutscenes and like gameplay. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Ways down appear to work. I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Excuse me, sirs. You 
were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Things like theft, I can morally say, yeah, you gotta yeah, survive. It's like a life or death situation, and it's gonna be you or them. I'd say you're morally allowed to defend yourself within. Oh. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? You could join us. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come, come with, with us. us, buddy. We're all free. We're free people. I know people. where you can find more spare parts. Thank you, dude. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. We can Wait do a here. team. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without we. me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. I'm gonna save you all! We're going to Valhalla to get okay. How am I gonna do this, you ask? I don't know. Okay, there are dogs. They do not like us. Expects the android in the bathroom. Where the fuck 
dogs. Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than not patrolling that. We are leaving people. Did you get it? some people we're good i've returned a I... truckload we stole a whole truck we load. got bio components for everybody we couldn't have done it without marcus i came to jericho because here androids are free Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Anyone else getting chills? Anyone else? Oh. 
My question is, what in the hell happened down there? We created a blackout. We avoided the guards. We stole a key. We left with the truck. We freed the androids. We freed the androids. Oh, that one. All right, and on that note, I think we'll end today's episode. I know it was a lot shorter than the last few, but I want to keep this going as long as I can because I just love this game so much. And I said in one of the episodes I was going to try to keep it 3 minutes, 40, 50 if the two like chapters were due in. Or longer. This one wasn't as long as before, but I think we did accomplish quite a bit. I mean, that just felt good. We're starting a revolution! And I love this game so much. I love it so much. And I like that it gives you the choice. You can either start a violent revolution or you can just, you know, be passive. Take the Martin Luther King. Not passive, per se, but non violent. You know? I feel like the humans will be more accepting if we're not murdering them. At the back, he totally kind of pushed that dude. Okay? Someone who's got pushed around a lot, you just, you just have that urge to fight back, to not get pushed around by everyone. And he kind of died for it. Okay? I did not realize. I kind of forgot. Android. Super strong. Whoops. That, one, that was my bad. Todd. That was because I probably screwed up the quick time events, and I feel like if I didn't do that, I would have had the gun on him and could have chose to shot him or not. I, if I have known I could have disobeyed and gone upstairs sooner, I probably could have got. What's her? Uh, I got the kid out of there. Alice could have got Alice out the window, left through the back without anything bad happening to her dad, but. This game, man. It's so deep. It's so good. It's so good. I love it so much. I don't want it to end. I know it's going to end. Oh, I will promise you this. When this when we're done with this game, I will be picking up Vampire because I just love playing story-based games. Like, that's primarily the games I enjoy. Single-player, story-oriented. And I am hoping to, like, I don't know. Just let me know if there's any other games on this channel you'd like me to see. Like to see. See what I can do. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And if you liked what you see and want to see more, leave a like, subscribe, and as always, have yourselves an amazing day and stay classy.